one thing that I did not miss about uh, vlogging in the parks are people staring at you with uh, like the whole camera setup. It's so awkward when you're trying to, you know, do a whole little monologue spiel about a certain thing and then you just have people like, I don't miss that. <laughs> friends and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi I'm Bello Kevy if you are not already subscribed please do so because that would help me out a lot so for this week's video I am back at Universal Studios after being gone in Puerto Rico for a while now I really don't have a plan for today I just really wanted to get back into the parks maybe we'll get on at least one ride I know it's been really crazy here because summer has officially begun but maybe we'll get to do something so with all of that said, let's head inside the park and live our most magical life. All right, friends, so I made it into the park. I am so excited to be back. I've only been gone for a week, but I'm acting as if it's been like 10 years. But this is where I truly thrive as a human species. I love theme parks. Even if it's crowded, I'm just thrilled to be here today. So um, I think we're gonna head to Diagon Alley because it's been a while, 10 years. <laughs> So let's go see what's happening over there. All right, so on the way to Diagon Alley, it honestly doesn't look too bad. Not too many people here. Again, probably because everybody's in Islands of Adventure. But here we go. Let's head to Diagon Alley. All right, here we are in Diagon Alley. Oh my God, it's so empty. It is so empty. That's so weird to see it like this. Wow, I've missed you, dragon. I've missed you, beautiful cobblestone i've missed you wizard whiskey oh feels so good to be back now we come to uh universal wizarding world a lot so if there's anything you guys ever want to see don't be shy drop a comment and i'd be happy to show it to you guys and especially because i'm kind of running out of ideas since i don't have a disney annual pass i've been coming to universal non-stop so uh give me some uh things that you guys want to see here and i'll be more than happy to film it for you guys now, Escape from Green Gods is only a 20 minute wait and I think I'm gonna do it because I think this might be the only thing I get to ride today and I'm perfectly content with that as long as I get to do something. I'm missing that uh, thrill of getting on a ride. So let's put the stuff in the locker and then I'll check in with you when we're online. Okay guys, so we are in line for Escape from Green Gods and the single rider line is back open. It, I, I've never done the single rider line here and I'm just excited to be experiencing it. Look. It's literally just me and the line is queued up way back there and the air conditioning, mama, chef's kiss. So excited. This is the first ride back here in Florida. Yes. I am so gagged by the single rider line. I'm literally just walking right through. I don't even know where I'm going. And oh, we're right here at the staircase onto the ride already. That is insane. So glad the single rider line is back open here at Universal Studios. Alright friends, so I just got off of Escape from Green Gods. It was literally a walk-on with the single rider line. Now if you are coming here to Universal Studios and you are a single rider, definitely you know take advantage of that opportunity. But if you are not a single rider and you're coming here with a group, don't get in that line because you're gonna ruin it for the rest of us. Because I got on in less 
within two minutes. Like literally, as I was vlogging through the thing, I was right there at the steps, so awesome. I always find it so funny when you come to the Wizarding World uh, and you see people on vacation and the mom is super into the trip. She's got the kids there taking pictures. And then if you look off to the right, you'll see the dad holding all the boxes of wands and all the crap that the kids begged for but lost interest in within 30 seconds. To me, that's just so funny and uh, I don't know. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> So I think I might be done here at the Wizarding World because I already got to ride Escape from Gringotts and then after that there's nothing really but shops and stuff so I don't think I'm going to be hanging out here for uh, too much longer. I think I still want to see the rest of the park and uh, head to Islands of Adventure of course. Maybe we can get on the Velocicoaster, that would be literally a dream. So I think let's head to the Simpsons area and see what it looks like over there. Now, right outside of the Wizarding World, there is a group of people doing the um, the VIP tour. And if you guys ever have the chance or the actual coin to do it, I highly recommend it because it gives you a tour of the entire park and you'll get to see very exclusive things. And also you get to jump the line. So it's it's honestly worth every single penny. So if you know if you got the coin, do it. One thing that I did not miss about uh, vlogging in the parks are people staring at you with uh, like the whole camera setup. It's so awkward when you're trying to, you know, do a whole little monologue spiel about a certain thing and then you just have people like, I don't miss that. <laughs> It is so dead here in the For Simpsons the area. Safety, the Simpsons ride is only 10 minutes. I am not gonna do it because I'm not that desperate to get on something. I think I'm gonna save this ride for when we do um, the things that I don't enjoy at Universal video. I think it would be funny to, you know, ride this, ride Forbidden Journey, and just have a miserable day for, uh, for your entertainment, so. Okay, so right behind me is the Duff Beer Emporium or whatever. And I walked up and I was like, can I have a Duff Beer? And it, it is only 9.38 in the morning. And the guy looked at me and said, not till 11. And his eyes were totally judging because I was at the bar at 9.30. <laughs> yeah. So here next to the SpongeBob SquarePants store or SpongeBob Square store pants, whatever, there you go, I'll let you guys see it. SpongeBob store pants. Wow, that was hard. Anyway, there is the Fast and the Furious, uh, I guess, promo photo area. Now, I have never seen any of these films. If you have, let me know in the comments. And should I watch them? Question mark? Let me know down below. Again, I am completely baffled by how empty it is here. But I know once you get to um, Islands of Adventure, it's gonna be, you know, so much worse. Because when we were, well, when I was online for the security check, the line was all the way back to the garage. But I think because the Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, it's just, you know, I don't think there's anything that's pulling people towards Universal. I think everybody's just dying to get to Islands because everything is shiny and new there. So I think we might need something here to kind of pull some of that crowd on this side, you know? And we have the cast of Scooby-Doo out here doing a little dance party. I'll zoom in for you guys. There they go. Freddy, Shaggy, Scooby, Velma, and Daphne. And actually, I have a really funny story about Daphne that I'll share with you right now. <laughs> My funny story about Daphne is when I was younger, I was not allowed to play with dolls. And I remember uh, Barbie released a Scooby-Doo uh, collection that had a Daphne doll with Scooby-Doo and I begged and begged my mom to get me this uh, Daphne doll only because it came with a Scooby-Doo plush. Now in my gay boy heart I wanted the Barbie but I played it off as if I only wanted the small Scooby-Doo that came inside. So then uh, I begged and she said yes. So then I got the Daphne doll. Mama, she was stunning. Gorgina. And I took her out of the box and I would play with her and the Scooby-Doo toy that came with it was on the side and I think my mom peeped it. So when I went to school one day, sorry mom, I'm putting you on blast. When I went to school one day, she went into my room, took my Daphne doll, mind you her hair was combed and perfect the way I left her, and threw her in the garbage. And I came home from school and I was like, where's my Daphne doll? And she was like, 
you played with it too much, so I had to I had to get rid of it. And every time I see Daphne, it triggers that memory. But um, it's okay, Mom. I forgive you. She's apologized. But you threw away my Daphne doll, and I loved that hoe. I loved her. I only bring that up to say whenever I see Scooby-Doo, it just triggers that memory for me. So I'm just like, every time I'm at Universal, I see her out here in the parade, and all I can think about is my Barbie somewhere in the New Jersey dumpster looking for me. Now, I don't think there's anything that I really want to do here in Universal, and it is starting to drizzle just a little. So before this video gets completely washed, let's head to Islands of Adventure. Hopefully we can get on something over there. If not, it's okay because we got to do one ride. And again, just excited to be back at Universal. Alrighty, so here we are on our way to Islands of Adventure. Now, in my opinion, I think this is the best way to get to the next park because you have the option of going on the Hogwarts Express. Now, if it's your first time here and you've never done it before, yeah, you should definitely do it. But if you've been here multiple times and you don't really care, this is the fastest because then you have to wait on the Hogwarts Express for whatever amount of time and then you got to watch the little video through the train and the first time i did it i was enamored the second time i was living and then by the third i was like you know what i can do without this so let's head to islands of adventure now here we are at the hard rock cafe here in uh, city walk you know overlooks all of city walk and i think this is something that a lot of people don't know and it's definitely something i didn't know you can actually get up to that balcony so i think we're going to head up there now and just get a nice little view of all of city walk now all you have to do is just follow this trail so that's the front right here you're just going to follow this trail and i honestly didn't know this until i went to the the Lassa coaster the Lassa coaster opening and i saw a bunch of youtubers go up here and maybe I was shook so it's gonna be literally right here is the staircase let's head up and check it out now here we are at the top of the uh, hard rock this is the balcony here that overlooks sorry let me just adjust that overlooks all of city walk now this is a great photo opportunity for you and the family and I think I think we'll shoot our cover art right here but here is the stunning view of all of City Walk and then just a smidgen of Universal. It's beautiful. Again, great place to take photos and shout out to all those YouTubers that I saw up here because I would have never, you know, never come up here. Now, I think that's what's so fun about my channel. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm very new to Universal Studios Disney Bush Garden, SeaWorld. So I think it's a learning process for all of us together. So if you are watching this and you're an expert of all of theme parks here in Orlando, work, but we're learning here. So maybe we'll find some more hidden gems and then I'll share it with you guys. And if you already knew where it was, just let me know in the comments. And if you have any other things that I should check out, definitely let me know because I wanna become a Universal Studios or Orlando theme park Master. <laughs> Here we are in Islands of Adventure. Honestly, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think it's just bad when you're trying to like do a rope drop. That's when it feels intense. But I think as we head to the Wizarding World, you guys already know, you've been here for a while and you know how the game goes. That's gonna be the most heavily crowded area. And you know, I'm a risk taker. So let's head into Hogsmeade, see what it looks like. I doubt we're gonna get to ride Hagrid's. It would be honestly a dream right now to get to ride Hagrid's or the Velocicoaster, but I will take what I can get. Now, for this vlog, I decided to cut through Seuss Landing, just because for me, this is the path that I usually take. I enjoy it. I love Seuss Landing with the architecture and all that. If you've guys seen the tour of Seuss Landing, you guys know how much I appreciate this area because I feel like it is a really slept on area. I don't, I don't think people appreciate it enough. Now here in Seuss Landing, Dr. Seuss's All the Books You Can Read is back open. This did happen when I was in Puerto Rico. So if, again, if you haven't seen the uh, tour of Seuss Landing, when we came, this was originally closed, but it's back to running, so.
me and Tony do plan on finishing the uh, tours of each area. It's just been really hard now that it's summer and it's extremely crowded. The last one we did was the uh, Superhero Island one and walking away from it, we weren't completely proud of it because it, we just felt like it took a lot out of us to create that vlog just because we spent a lot of time online and the crowds were were just intense so i think we might wait till summer wraps up and then start doing that towards the fall once halloween horror night starts and everybody's going to be over there i think that'll be a good time for us to finish our uh our tours of each land so uh let's see what happens i'll keep you guys posted of course now there's still no word on what's happening with poseidon's fury i, I don't know I feel like they, would, they wouldn't they would close it because obviously it looks like they spent a huge coin on building this. I'm just very curious to know like what are they going to do? When is this going to reopen? Not that it was the most gag worthy show, but I think it's, it's a great people eater because it can hold a ton of people. So I don't know, maybe this summer? Let's see. Now there is no virtual queue for Hagrid's right now and I'm literally 50-50 right now of whether we should get on it or not. 90 minute wait. Let's do it, but let me pee first. So I'm going to use the little boys room first before we jump on Hagrid's and I did bring the GoPro so I definitely want to uh, use that to get some footage, some real footage because every time I've done Hagrid's I've used my phone and I only, I only started filming when it was uh, safe enough for me to do so but now I have the GoPro and I think I really want to do it. It's a 90 minute wait, it's not awful but it's still a wait. Now here is the Wizarding World and uh, pretends to be shocked. It's very crowded. So I think we're gonna definitely skip out on all of this because uh, COVID's, COVID is in the streets, girl. She out here. Just got a little boy's room. I learned my lesson from the Velocicoaster. It's, it's not fun waiting in line when you have to pee and I am doing a solo trip today and I'm about to get on Hagrid's. Now I don't know if they're doing a single rider line. I'm definitely gonna ask. So I guess let's see. So I did just ask about the single rider line for Hagrid's. They are doing it, but you do have to wait back here with the rest of the crowd. And then once you get towards the gate, then you can say I'm a single rider and your, your wait won't be as long, but I feel like most of the line is outside, but I have really no plan here. So let's just get in line. I just have to leave universal by 12 so we have two hours left and that's more than enough time to ride hagrid's and it kind of was on the list of things i'd prefer to do today so definitely no velocicoaster today but it's just fine hagrid's here we come so before we jump on hagrid's i decided to uh grab a little libation because it is a 90 minute wait and i deserve it <laughs> why not now I did stop and get a little course light for the line, but of course it started to rain. Now I don't know if Hagrid's stops when it rains. I'm not sure. All right guys, on the official line for Hagrid's and as soon as I got to the entrance, he was like single liner, a uh, single liner, single rider is closed. Are you are you kicking in? I think she is. Yum. All right, friends, so I just got off of Hagrid's. I did have the GoPro, but unfortunately, when I put it on, one of the team members stopped me and said that you couldn't uh, do any onboard filming at all, whether it's attached to you or not. So sorry for that, but it is what it is. So let's move on. Let's go check out the Velocicoaster. Maybe it's not too long. And here we are in front of the castle. It's been a while since we just stopped and admired it. It's so beautiful. So well done. Okay, let's move on. Now we entered the Jurassic Park area. Guys, look how crowded it is now because of the Velocicoaster opening. If you go back a few videos before, before the Velocicoaster even opened, this area was a little ghost town. So for those of us who come here a lot, it sucks, but for the park, it's great. Now, here we are at the uh, entrance of the Velocicoaster, and it looks like they finally opened this bridge that leads you to the entrance right before um, Hogsmeade. So that's nice. I'm, when we came here a couple weeks ago, it wasn't open. So now it's a, a little bit of an easier access to get to 
the VelociCoaster. So the VelociCoaster is a 75 minute wait and it's not awful, definitely manageable, but I don't have that kind of time today because I do have to pick up Tony from work in about an hour. So we're gonna skip this for today, but the next time we come, we're gonna ride it again. And I'm gonna see if they allow the GoPro Hopefully they do, so I can get some onboard footage for you guys. Kong is a 65 minute wait. Again, not awful for summertime. I don't think we've ever filmed it. So I think the next time we come, we'll definitely do that. I feel like I'm becoming one of those uh, universal people who come so often and all they do is complain about everything, how things are changing, blah, blah, blah. But I only have one last complaint, I swear. But this one is for the uh, parents. Parents, please keep those things that you call children um, in your hands or maybe on, on like a nice little leash because they shouldn't be climbing things, running amok. I get it, you're on vacation, but let's act civilized because I shouldn't feel your kid climbing my back. Just saying. Alrighty, friends, so that's gonna do it for this week's video. I am so glad to be back in Florida doing theme park vlogs for you guys. I honestly enjoy this so much. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. As always, I love you for watching and I can't wait to see you again. Bye. Hey there, friend. Just because the video's over doesn't mean the magic has to end. Click here or here to keep living your most magical life. And don't forget to subscribe.